Hey, you know, one thing, I don't know what it is about you and the ladies. My wife is a huge fan of yours, but uh, I know that LL means, means ladies love and then cool James. Let me live vicariously through you. What is it like when ladies freak out at you when you're walking down the street? <laughs> Yo, I don't know, man. Come on! <laughs> I'm at a loss for words, man. It doesn't feel bad. <laughs> Here at Walmart, look at this to my right here, ladies and gentlemen, Donnie and Marie. Welcome and to Walmart. Woo, welcome to Walmart. Welcome to Walmart. Who are fans of Donnie and Marie? Look at this. I mean, this is actually you, crazy. Can I you mean, believe the crowd here? Thank you for coming out, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you guys have been to Arizona yeah. a few times. A few times. Yeah. What, what's your favorite thing about uh, Arizona? The people. The I think, people? I think this interview. Yeah. This the, interview right here? No, you like I, this, Marie? Good, good work. Thank you. The people here are unbelievable. Uh, plus, we have a lot of relatives in this area, too. Mm -hmm. so. You know what I love is the weather. I mean, there's so many great things you can do, and it's one of those places that it, it gets hot for just a tiny bit, but the rest of the year, it's perfect. Welcome back to the CBS 5 Morning News. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest comedians out there today. In fact, uh, he'll be in the Valley this weekend. Frank Caliendo is with us, and he calls Arizona home. Yes, and I'm home for the holiday. <laughs> Isn't it like President's Day or something coming up? Well, yeah, it is. See? Coming Whoa! up Monday. There it is. All right. <laughs> See, Perfect. what I did there was I tied in the, the date and the calendar. Boom, I'm here. A little oh. John Madden for you. A little oh. John Madden. Speaking of John Madden, John, have you heard? that Peyton Manning may be coming to the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, and that's a possibility. I mean, there's, uh, you know, 35 teams that uh, Peyton Manning could be. <laughs> 31 teams. I mean, I didn't do the math right there, and you realize that there's 32 teams. 32. It travels how far at times? Um, 176 feet at 30 PSI. That was the average. Oh, my goodness. Do you guys mind if we count down here? <laughs> no. Okay, ladies, we'll, we'll start from five, ladies All and gentlemen. Right. Here we go. Joey Hootie from Anthem, Canyon Springs uh, School in Anthem in five. Four, three, two, one. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Now, Joey, load that thing up. There is a billboard of Corey McCloskey right across the street. Let's shoot it across the street and, uh, you know, smash marshmallows all over it. Is that a good idea? Sure. It is 6.50. Can we get a round of applause from our studio audience here? Ladies and gentlemen. Fitzgerald is here. <laughs> oh, my word. Thank you, Larry, Thank for making us the number one newscast this morning. <laughs> I know it. A ton of people are tuning in here this morning. And, Larry, uh, great to have you here. We're going to talk about this great softball uh, game you've got going on coming up this weekend. But, you know, you've been busy this summer hanging out with Anquan, too. And, uh, you know, one of the things I'm a, a fan of yours on Facebook, and the pictures are amazing, some of the places you guys went to visit. Oh, yeah. Me and Anquan are still very, very close. He's actually going to be here this weekend for, for my softball game. Um, I was last week at his celebrity um, event down down in, in Fuller, and we went to Ethiopia about two weeks ago, and we're able to work with Oxfam America to try to do some um, some, some oh, famine wow. relief work over there. Yeah, isn't that incredible? And uh, your work, you are just a treasure here in the Valley. I'm so happy that you signed on for an extended amount of time here in the Valley of the Sun. Your work with charity is just amazing. Big brothers, big sisters, just showing up at uh, events to surprise them, which is great. And that's what this softball game's about, uh, taking place this weekend. Tell us about that. Yeah, it definitely is. The, the money raised is going to go to a lot of local a lot of local charities, you know, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Boys, Boys and Girls Club, um, and a lot of foundations like that that are in need of resources. And, and I'm really big on after-school programs that, that help kids have uh, ways to, to, to do positive things with their free time. Yeah, are you a good softball player? No, I am not. <laughs> I, last, last year I went on to the Diamondbacks and I took batting practice. And, and, I remember and Chris, that. Chris Young and, and, and Jay up. I mean, they still laugh at me every time they see me. I was, I was, I was really embarrassed. So this year I'm not taking batting practice. I'm going to the field. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did pretty good at the All-Star game, I thought. Uh, I did okay. It was, there were so many people I couldn't do bad. You know what I mean? I, I, had, I was so nervous out there, more so than I was in any football game. Well, this is the place to be, Salt River Fields, uh, this weekend. Tell us some of the big names that are going to be there this weekend. Kurt Warner will be back with us. Kurt Warner coming back. Tara Owens, uh, Darnell Dockett, Greg Jennings, Steven Jackson, uh, Patrick Peterson, Darnell Dockett. I mean, I, I mean, a lot of my teammates coming out to support. It's going to be a, a lot of fun. And, and in the morning, I'm gonna, we're gonna, a lot of us are going to try to get out and run the Pat Tillman race in the morning at yeah. 7 o'clock. Oh, very before, cool. So. We'll be there. Yeah, you know, we're going to be I mean, there, too. He's an, he's an Arizona Cardinal, and sure. uh, we're going to go out there and support him. He, he means a tremendous amount to this community, not only this community, but to this country, and we're going to go out and show our support. Well, that is absolutely yes. great. I'm yes. sure a lot of people running in that race will be like, is that Larry Fitzgerald <laughs> right to my right? Yeah, Actually, Larry will be finished by the time right. yeah. <laughs> sure. we get started here. Uh, 
well, let's talk about the upcoming season. The season, the draft is coming up next week, and of course, there's a quarterback that shall remain nameless. I will never mention his name ever again on this newscast. It starts with a P and ends with the, his last name starts with an M. All right. I'm not, I'm not okay. You know, that was two weeks of chaos. <laughs> two weeks of chaos. Have you uh, spoke with uh, Kevin Cobb since that uh, fiasco? Yeah, we, we text message from time to time. Good. You know, he's uh, he's enjoying the time with his family down in Texas, and uh, today is actually our first day of organized workouts again. So we get back to work. Everybody see all the familiar faces, and I look forward to it. Next week we have the draft, and um, you know, last year we did a phenomenal job with, yeah. with the addition of Patrick Peterson. He made All Pro as a rookie, and hopefully we can continue to have that same kind of success in the draft. Patrick's going to be at the softball game. Patrick too. will be there. I'm not sure how good of a, a ball player he is. <laughs> He'll be there. Yeah. Just make him a designated runner. Oh How's yeah. That, uh, Nobody would be able to throw him out. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Well, talk about the off season once again. Your workout regime is amazing. And uh, tell us what a normal day in the life of Larry Fitzgerald, a workout at least. Well, I feel that like we have the best strength and conditioning coach in all the NFL. His name is John Lott. He's been with us five years. He does an unbelievable job of motivating and pushing guys to con continue to improve. And, and he's not going to change the way he is. He's always he's, he's, he's going to be in your ear. He's going to be challenging you. And today, I'm looking forward to that old raspy voice getting in my ear. Good deal. Me, telling me I've been eating too much, you know. So uh, he's, he's a fine, fine coach. I look forward to working with him again. Okay, we got one minute. Five rapid-fire questions for you. Your favorite restaurant in the Valley. Oh, only one? Come on. Uh, I got to go with I gotta go with the Elements. Elements. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, the best Valley event, the Phoenix Open, Barrett-Jackson, or Cinco de Mayo Chihuahua races in Champa. <laughs> I will go with Barrett-Jackson. I love the Barrett-Jackson. <laughs> Craziest fan experience? Uh, <laughs> I can't mention that one. Huh? Yeah. Oh, this is good. Break. <laughs> Find it out break. Okay, if you weren't a football player, what would you be doing? Be a school teacher. Oh, really? Look at that. What would you teach? Elementary education. Oh. Look at that. Larry Fitzgerald loved this guy. Okay, uh, next Super Bowl appearance. 2012. Look at nice. that. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Larry Fitzgerald. Thank, Thank you, so you so much, much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Once again, Salt River Fields is a place to be this one weekend. One o'clock. One o'clock. Can they get yes. there early for autographs or anything uh, like that? We'll, we'll be there. We're going to actually stay stay a little bit later to sign autographs for all the fans. And while we're on offense, and I'm not in the you know I'm not in the uh, up to bat. I'm gonna jump in the stands. A lot of my nice. other friends will be jumping in the stands, taking pictures and interacting with the fans as well. And we'll anyone can attend. Anybody can attend. You Good can go times. you can go online and buy them uh, at the Salt River Fields uh, website, or you can just walk up to the door and buy them. Whatever's 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 easy for you. We got a link CBS5AZ.com. Here we are, of course, uh, two great schools that are visiting the Valley of the Sun We're right in front. Look at this. Craig, I'll show everybody the beautiful U.S. Airways Center where uh, 19,000 people are lucky enough to have tickets for the next round, the NCAA tournament. And we've got Michigan State over here. Howdy, gang. And then to my left over here, we've got a great school called Marquette. What we're having here this morning is a little uh, uh, cheer off, and they're standing side by side. Let me introduce you uh, to two great school representatives. This is Priya. Priya is a senior uh, with Michigan State, and you guys excited to be in the next round of the tournament here? We are very excited. All right, well, introduce us to everybody that's here. You got uh, your squad, and of course the band mm -hmm. back there. And tell us about this guy right here. This is Sparty. Oh my goodness, look <laughs> at Sparty. And you think Sparty's excited to uh, be on national TV tonight? Very excited. Good deal. Good deal. And uh, let me ask you this, Priya. Do you think your team's gonna win um yes <laughs> what do you think michigan stays your team gonna take it all <laughs> Brio, uh, uh, Brio, i love uh tom Izzo. how's tom Izzo feeling is he feeling good he's feeling really good okay so the head coach is ready for the big game there's michigan state and uh we'll highlight that let's uh, introduce you uh from marquette and uh tell everybody i just learned this where's marquette from marquette's in milwaukee milwaukee wisconsin yes. and uh jessica you are a senior there and uh, introduce us to your mascot over this here. is a lovely golden eagle hello mr golden eagle <laughs> And uh, are you just excited? Do you have a lot of fans who are traveling here uh, to Phoenix to, uh, of course, see the game? Yeah, we do. And, you know, it's beautiful weather here. So we've got, you know, a lot of great support here and um, a lot of great support at home as well. Yeah, Milwaukee, Wisconsin this time of year. What, temperatures average in the 30s? You know, usually it does. <laughs> <laughs> but um, fortunately, there wasn't snow on the ground when we left. So well, usually deal. there is about this time of well, year. Good <laughs> deal. Good deal. Well, tell us how exciting this is for your school. This is so exciting. And, you know, we've got great support from the 
faculty and fans and the alums at home too. So it's it's been a great experience. We're very excited. All right, we're going to hear from the band in just a second here. But as we mentioned, let's talk about the games that are uh, taking place here in the Valley. The first game, Michigan State against this team called Louisville. <laughs> Low, have you guys heard of Louisville? Okay, uh, that takes place at 447, and then uh, we've got another game at 7, around 7 o'clock, uh, a team called, uh, well, the Florida Gators, who didn't even show up this morning. Let's give them a big boo, everybody. Come on. And then, of course, they're playing a team, as we mentioned, called Marquette from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Good deal. Good deal. All right, Taylor. You have got the basketball here. We're going to do a little competition with the mascots. Craig, uh, why don't you back up a little bit, and we're going to do a little uh, jump off, as they do at uh, the game, to determine who gets the ball. You guys are going to hit the ball to your cheer squad. Golden Eagle, are you ready? Okay. Smarty. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Three, two. It went to Marquette. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Well, let's hear from Marquette's band. Are you guys ready for this? Marquette, let's have a little cheer off here. Take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Michigan State. Here they go. <laughs> Well, there they are, of course, the first game tonight, 447 U.S. Airways Center. A big thank you to Michigan State and Marquette for coming on out this morning. And we're going to highlight these great teams a little bit later in the broadcast. We'll be back after this. Wow, isn't this weird? <laughs> Welcome back to the CBS 5 Morning News. Uh, this is Paul Horton sitting with the Silver Fox, everybody. Anderson, go back! Good to see you. How are you? Uh, you said that. I did not say that. Well... She's the most popular cook and TV personality out there. Paula Dean is with us uh, here this morning. Welcome to Phoenix, Paula. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> it's just a treat having you. You are live from your home, beautiful place uh, in the country, Savannah. Well, thank you. And you're talking thank about outdoor you. dining. This is perfect because we do a lot of outdoor dining here in Arizona. And, uh, well, in this book that you're uh, highlighting here, you're bringing back the classic picnics and Road yes. favorites. Tell us yes. about that. Yes. You know, during the summer, Paul, I automatically go to ham. I like to keep a ham in my refrigerator all the time because... You know, Amari Stoudemire saying yesterday if he would have stayed with the team one more year, they could have won a championship. I agree with that. What do you think? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Who knows? Well, come on! You know, you got injuries, you got guys coming and going. Who knows you know, what happened? At least we have the Mercury that can bring a championship Crystal here to ball, Phoenix. Let's hope Crystal the Suns can do it next season.